Hello, everybody. It is 107, Wednesday, November 1st. Um, I'm here in uh, Wentzville, Missouri. Hopefully sometime this afternoon they'll call me get me a load going somewhere. Out of here. You guys, um, when I was seeing those eights all the time, even the job number was 27888. And then I told you as I was driving all day, even on my cell phone, the number 88, even 88 miles to go or, you know, turn here and you got 88 to go and uh, stuff like that, you know, and then seeing it right in front of me. I seen like tags coming right in front of me, pulling in front of me all the time with 88 on it, either starting or ending with it, not in the middle, but starting or ending. Um... Then the uh, I've seen the ones a few times. I did see the triple ones, and then people asked me if I heard about the attack in New York, which I did today this morning. Um, how uh, some guy did it the name of ISIS, you know, which we know that's the devil, you know, and these are the last days, you guys. This isn't going to be stopped because it's written in the Bible. Um, wickedness is going to abound like this. And everything happens because God allows it, okay? As sure as they're going to uh, do what they do, um, they're going to be destroyed too. Make no doubt about it. Um, this, is good. this is all a process, and they're going to be part of that process. The thing is, we who are aware who are separated to see what's going on, this is where we have to uh, make our, uh, you know, being wise, as it says, you know. We know perfectly well what time it is. Just like the Bible says, we're not of the dark, we're of the light. Um, how many people out there right now are even aware of where they're even heading? They're not, you know. Anyhow... Uh, on my daily <clears throat> thing, it popped up on my phone today about cast, um, about, uh, the knowledge of God. Listen to this, you guys. This is in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. I want to, I want to read more of it, but I just want to get to this part first, because this is what came out on my phone today, and I was like, wow, you know? The imagination, you know, our minds should be set on things above all the time, not of this world. And that's what the imagination is set on here with a lot of people today. A lot of the attacks that we get, sexual attacks, uh, come from our imagination. I believe the Lord's refining us, making us uh, where our mind is more set on Him rather than the perversions in this world, you know, um, <clears throat> like I myself, I preferred uh, relationships with a woman rather than what you see today, you know, but like I said, um, marriage and everything is totally taken out of context as it should be, you know, people should be, um, seeking the Lord right now. You know what I mean? The way the Lord designed families, life to be, love, you know, where it was much more than uh, sex. And a lot of these attacks that we're getting, that's what it is. You know, it's all like sexual, sexual, sexual. And there's more to all that than what, you know, our imaginations were. Okay, um, we have to really, this is a cleansing process that we're going through, purification, okay, remember it says many will be tried and made white, in other words, we're, we're, he's getting us ready, okay, the Lord moves in abundant ways, you guys, we can't even fathom how he does things, but he's doing them <laughs> beautifully. You know, just beautifully. When you look at how he's doing everything, it's like, 
powerful, very, very powerful. And it's, and it's sad that so many people can't see this. You know, that's really sad that the times that we're living in now. But he said um, that in these days, the wicked will be given no signs except for the sign of Jonah. And you remember I told you the other day, I see that lady with that shirt when I got that job, 888. We had that picture of a whale on her. I think we're very, very close to the uh, gathering for the wedding. That's what I believe. And um, there's going to be the earthquake, the three days of darkness. That's going to be their sign of Jonah in the belly of the whale, three days of darkness. We've been able to see this because of the Lord. He's made it possible for us to see this. Okay? Let me read you guys this. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Okay? Against the knowledge of God. Everything. Okay? It's, it's like, forget. That's what I've been saying to you, huh? Forget everything that you think you know. Remember, this life was nothing but deception. Look at all the billboard signs, all the stuff. It's all in your face, everywhere, you know? Man, what would it be if we had all of everything about God all in our face? That's how it should be. All about our Father in heaven, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. You know, if we were all about that, even in the churches, you know, if they were all teaching about you know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, all the things that are in this book. You know, not in the watered-down versions, versions. You know what I mean? There's a lot of books out there. They wrote, watered them down. You know, how blessed you are to have worldly things. When we know in the Word of God, it says, Love of the world is not love of the Father, but of the world. And the preachers, I believe a lot of them are, um, got that, wicked demonic spirit in them today you know I, I didn't say all of them i said a lot of them i mean a lot because I, I can't tell you how many churches i went into trying to warn them and it was as if and i felt in my spirit that i was around a lot of demonic spirits even the people that were working the doors to make sure nobody interrupted the services because when the services started man they shut the door and then those people working the doors, they all sat out front, not going in, not listening to the message. They knew what the message was, and it was to pervert the word of God. They knew this, and that's what they're doing right now. They're here among us right now, all in the flesh everywhere, hosting people. This is a spiritual battle, though. Even though they might be here in the flesh, prove it. This is where your faith comes in. This is where we know who they are. And remember what it says, the sword of the spirit, putting on the armor, the armor of God, okay? Because this is what we're fighting with, and there ain't no other way you're going to deal with it. And they are controlling people's minds. If they don't have the Holy Spirit in them, like that guy driving in that truck, you know? Um, Grotex One Channel said that, uh, you know, that guy... Escobar, it spells Obama or something. You can take and spell Obama on it. And he just happened to have his inauguration too. You see what I'm saying? I told you things are going to start happening. And then he said there's a movie or something that came out too. And the number 19 was all in it. 19 everywhere in the movie. And then if you look at the truck hit guy was driving, 19. You know? I drive a truck with a number on it, 558, you know. And then yesterday, uh, I d picked up a load going someplace, but the address was uh, 555. And then when I programmed it to go drop it off, I turned the corner, I looked out at my mileage, and it said 555 miles to go, you know. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. We're on a course here on the earth, and we're driving. We're following this destination out. Like, from the beginning of time, God's always known who's who. He's always known us. We've always been uh, separated. We've always been chosen by God. 
from the beginning of time, and now we're playing it out. As sure as that time I told you, I seen him. He revealed himself to me. It was a real quick glance, but at the same turn, you know, I didn't waste one iota of a second when I seen him. It was like instant, man. My eyes went right to him instantly. I was like drawn to him like a magnet, man. Let me tell you something. That's exactly what it says when Jesus said, I won't lose any of them because they're drawn to me. They're drawn to me. You know, we are. We're, we're pulled to him. We're drawn to him. They're not. But we are. We're drawn to him. Because we love him more than we knew. You know? And we've always felt separated in this world. Like we're not a part of it. That's not the case with a lot of other people. They're, you know, it's like that lady when I went to go unload my truck. You know, she was like, you know, looking real evil, wicked looking. And I'm thinking, man, I'm just here to drop this off. You know, that's it. But these are the changes that are happening. They're changing more and more. Remember, it said we will be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of the eye, we're going to be changed. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. I'm going to start that over again. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Okay. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Okay. Bringing it into captivity. Every thought of the imagination. Okay, in other words, when these thoughts pop up, we are to uh, grab hold of them and do away with them. That's when we call, we draw near to Christ. We call on the name of the Lord. Lord, you know, we do away with those imaginations. Get rid of them. <clears throat> okay, because this is a sin. It's sin. And it's the devil bringing these thinking, thinking thoughts in. But let me tell you something. We lit these things in with our imagination too. Because we once were. Remember? He said that. Such, such as some of all of you. Until we were chosen and separated. Okay? Now that's what we're doing. We're being tried. Purified. Okay? We're getting rid of these thoughts. All these things that were of the world. We're getting ready to leave. That's why it says in the Bible, strengthen what remains. In other words, don't waste this time. Don't waste this time. It's all about being born again in the spirit. And we're trying to get these things out of us. Okay? The Lord's helping us tremendously right now to do this. I'm telling you the truth, you guys. This is what the Word of God tells us to do. All right, we know the rapture is coming, man, but what good is it doing trying to get other... I, I guess they're doing what they're doing, and I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm more focused on the Spirit, you guys, getting everybody into your Spirit, knowing that we got to cleanse ourselves. we got to get this stuff out of us, okay? By letting go, we have to let go. Of a lot of this stuff, man. Let it go. Like it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. In other words, Ready, we're we're here to do battle, you know. If it's not all about being obe obeying Christ, we're here to fight against it. Okay. When your obedience is fulfilled, then it says Second Corinthians two nine. So, do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ. Let him of himself think this again. That 
as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. For though I should boast some more about of our authority, which the Lord has given us for edification, and not for your destruction, I should not be ashamed, that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letter. For his letters say that are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak, and his speech contemptible. Let such a one think this, that such as we are in the word by letters, when we are absent, such will we be also indeed when we are present. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Amen. Or understand it not. But we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God has distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure, as though we reached not unto you, for we have come as far as you also in preaching the gospel of Christ, not boasting of things without our measure, that is, of other men's labors, but having hope when your faith is increased, when your faith is increased, I read that twice because your faith is very important here, that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule abundantly to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to our Lord. But he that gloreth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. But he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. For not he that commandeth himself is approved, but whom the Lord commendeth. Amen. Second Corinthians two nine. Let me go to that, you guys. Second Corinthians two nine. Two nine. For to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. Wow. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgive I it in the person of Christ. You guys, time's very, very short. You know, we need to let go of these things in this world. Let go of these things in this world because they're not going to serve you any purpose. Even the things that are in us, you know, you got to let them go. You know, we got to let them go and um, just be longing to go to be with Christ our Lord, you know. And let him show and teach us the things that we need to know, you know, which they're not of this world, okay? Look at Christ was an example, you know, the way he came here. And he said, follow me. He was our example, you know. We need to learn and try to be more like him when he was walking this earth here, you know. And he didn't come here to be exalted or like a ruler or a king and that's another reason why they wanted to kill him then because they wanted somebody like the antichrist that's about to reveal himself that's who they wanted and that's who they're gonna get because that's who they want and uh <clears throat> i just posted a thing where this guy was saying this time is to give even the israelites time to uh seek him out and to come to him, to give them an opportunity to come to him before all this happens. And I think they've had that time. Um, 
I'm not going to get into it because it'd be too much to understand, but I had an encounter with them when this first started beginning with me when I was getting my shirts at the Buckle in uh, Clearwater, Florida. I ran in, I had an encounter with some Jewish people that I know that they were looking for a certain thing and they seen something that they found. It's too complicated to get into that, but they've been aware for quite some time. They have been aware of these times that we're in. You can be sure they are aware, more so than what we are, okay? Um, God's made us aware, too. We're among the wise, but you can be sure his, ch his chosen, he's going he's gonna to give them every opportunity that there is out there. They've known things and have been working on them. You know, they've had signs and things that they were told to look for. Thousands of years ago, they knew this, okay? Getting ready for this day. And I believe they've always been out there looking for this time. They're always around, you guys. They're in every mall and every store. They got their little booth set up in every store. They're, they're out there for a reason. Selling that makeup from the Dead Sea Salt. And I had an encounter with them. And let me tell you something. When I did, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. More in me than I ever knew that I ever had was at that time. All right. Second Corinthians 4. 4. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine into them. For we preach not of ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Man, this is, this is true mercy. You know, to be chosen, man, to have this, what we're going through now. You know, but we need to be striving to be cleansing ourselves of all of this. And then trusting in the Lord to complete what we're unable to do. But he is, you know, glorifying him because he will complete it. When we're put in our new uncorruptible bodies, okay? But we need to be striving after him, picking up our cross, following after him. Man, last night I had a lot of those stinking, thinking dreams again, you know? I can't remember them in, in detail, but it was, it was horrible. Like sneaking around kind of stuff, you know what I mean? I didn't like it. It's horrible. I woke up and I had worse headache, you know? I'm like, why am I even going through this? It's a process. It's a process, you know, whiting, whiting me out, I guess, you know. I just accept it, and I stay close to Christ, you know, and trust in Him. So, in, in our afflictions, we get stronger in Christ, okay? Just trust in Him, you know, and rebuking the devil always. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves in every man's conscience in the sight of God. In the conscience, in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. They can't see it, that are lost nor do they understand even what I'm talking about now. You know, comes from the Word of God. Love you guys. I'm going to let you go, okay? I hope and pray that you guys get something out of this. And uh, love each and every one of you, you know. God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs>